Let's see how my common prayer book is holding up nearly a year in. Hello everyone. I'm not sure which order or exactly when I'll be releasing this video, but this is, uh, for those of you keeping track at home, the first post-accident, post-surgery video I'm recording, seeing how I do recording from the couch of convalescence. So this uh, video will likely be mercifully short, merciful to you and me both. My uh, state of decrepitude. <clears throat> I just wanted to check in on this InterVarsity Press International Edition 1662 Book of Common Prayer, which I've been using for daily morning and evening prayer uh, since January. Uh, I'm not going to say, it would be a lie to say I do it every morning and every evening, but with a few tiny exceptions, I have every day used this book um, and uh, generally use it morning and evening prayer. <clears throat> it is uh, still a very nice addition. It has seen some wear. The gold cross on the front has become somewhat faded. It's probably hard to tell in this light, but that has worn off a lot over the past nine or so months that I've owned this and used it. The spine similarly worn a little bit, maybe not quite as much. The binding, a little hard to see with all the ribbons I've added, but uh, Binding is held up fine. I was a little worried about that, turning and opening it to the same places over and over again. And speaking of which, you can see, let's do a little forensic analysis here. What, I only have one hand to use, sorry, or I would gesture. Um, you can see what sections are most used in this book. Obviously, these discolored sections here, morning and evening prayer, near the beginning of the book. These somewhat less discolored, I don't know if you can see that. Behind those represent the collects and epistle and gospel readings uh, for Sundays throughout the year. So more pages and referred to sequentially, so not as repetitively as this colored band here that represent the morning and evening prayer. And then the Psalter, similarly discolored. There's a couple of book darts I have placed in there uh, for Psalms that I reference regularly. And you can see the discoloration there too. So in the absence of any gilding or uh, rouging or anything on the side, um, my grubby fingers, I'm not sure what it is I have on my fingers in the mornings uh, or evenings that causes that. Uh, but there you have it. It's kind of a track record of the most used portions of common prayer. I have found I very much like using this edition for common prayer. Um, I have, for the majority of that time, paired it with the Jerusalem Bible, which uh, I have grown very much to like. But post-surgery, I'm finding the Jerusalem Bible a little difficult to manage with one hand, and uh, I've switched in the meantime to this revised English Bible with Apocrypha. We, at the time I'm recording this, are approaching rapidly the time in the calendar, according to this calendar, in which we'll be reading from the Apocrypha, so it was important to find another Bible that uh, includes the Apocrypha. I believe later this month, we begin in Tobit, so that will be important. Um, apart from morning and evening prayer, some things that I find myself very much liking and returning to, uh, these prayers that are kind of added on to morning and evening prayer, the um, collect for all conditions of men, O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind. We humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, Thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. 
more especially we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who were anyways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. And here it allows for naming of specific individuals, uh, which I have found useful that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their suffering and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. I think because in the 28 American prayer book, that's a more integral part of uh, daily prayer. I turn to that one often and use that. Also the general thanksgiving, I'm not going to read through that, but uh, also an integral part of the 1928 prayer book that's used frequently. And then uh, from the collection of prayers at the very end, as an appendix here, there are a few that are particularly lovely that I will sometimes use, especially at evening prayer. Uh, in this book, page 685, Prayers in the Evening. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Also one similar, uh, just below that, keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep, tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. There are certainly other prayers that I turn to from time to time, but those are the most frequently uh, sought out by me. Um, this book has held up well. I did change out the ribbons from when I originally set it up. I had some awful white ribbons in there that were very stiff and uh, not very useful. But again, the binding has held up. Some discoloration in the pages from use, which I... Uh, I'm not going to complain about because it's my own grubby fingers doing it. And uh, again, the gilding wearing off some, but still the book is holding up beautifully. Um, I still give it a unqualified recommendation. If you are at all interested in the uh, liturgy of the English church, it is a, um, it's a beautiful book and uh, one well worth seeking out, I think. Thanks for bearing with me here as I try this uh, first recording from my um, temporary home uh, on the sofa as I recuperate. Thank you for all your prayers, those who are the praying swords and have been are reaching out to me. I did receive a very nice card I wanted to mention from uh, Go For A Ride, one of my uh, channel friends, and uh, some of you have, have reached out to me and I appreciate that. Um, it's been helpful. So uh, thanks for watching this today. Hope you uh, enjoyed this look after almost a year of use of the IVP International Edition 1662 Book of Common Prayer. Go out and get yourself one. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you here again next time.